How is it different getting your concealed carry permit in California versus Pennsylvania? That information is coming up next. How's it going everybody? My name is Anthony Miranda. I am a licensed and practicing attorney in California, but I have experience both carrying concealed in California and Pennsylvania. A little bit of background, um, I went to law school in uh, Pennsylvania and for the three years there I carried concealed, um, but I'm originally from California and then after finishing law school I came back to California and since being back in California I've carried concealed in California. Um, so I've gone through both of the processes. I've gone through the California most recently, but I've also gone through the Pennsylvania process while I was a resident and going to law school there. So starting off, to get your license to carry concealed in California, you have two options. You can either go through your local PD, and if you don't have a local PD, if you live in an uh, area that uh, is not within an incorporated city, you have to go through a county sheriff. So it's kind of pick or, pick or poison in California. Um, I'm lucky enough to live in a very conservative area of California, probably the most conservative area in California. Um, and so going through the local PD or the county sheriff, it, it doesn't really matter. But in some areas, it does matter a lot. To even just do the process initially in California, what you have to do is you have to take an eight hour course. Um, and in that course, you have to qualify um, shooting. Each county sets their requirements of uh, your accuracy that you have to have. Um, for my county, it was you shot at three, five, and seven yards, and you had to hit 50%, I believe it, I believe it was 50% of your magazine had to be within the C zone of a target, um, which is pretty easy, but you would be surprised. I saw quite a bit of people fail that requirement um, at my course. Um, the course is not free. It's not like California pays for it. Um, wherever you go through, um, they charge you a fee. So the one I went through, I think they charged me $85 for this eight-hour course. We went in, we qualified, and then you sit for eight hours and hear a bunch of nonsense, really um, stuff you should already know before you're applying to get your concealed weapon permit. So after you've done your course um, to be certified, you receive a little certification, it's signed, you have a list of the firearms that you're going to be permitted to carry. Um, that's a lot different than other states, and I'll get hit on that later with Pennsylvania. In California, you have to qualify with every firearm that you want to carry. So for me, I had to qualify with every firearm, and for you to carry those firearms, they have to be on your permit. If they're not on your permit, you're not allowed to carry them. You can go in after the fact. Um, and qualify again with a firearm if you buy a new one, but I believe the training training course that I went through charges like a $10 fee for you to um, qualify with a firearm, and so that's something to take in consideration. Pretty much everybody I saw in the course um, who are getting their permits brought in all their firearms and qualified in one go because it is expensive. It costs $85 to just do your initial course. So after you pass the course, you then, you're then going to fill out the application that your local PD or your county sheriff has set for you. And the application, at least for the county that I went through, was probably about 25 pages. Um, so you have to fill all that out, general questions, information for them to run your background. Um, then you also have to attach three letters of recommendation essentially with your application. It's from three people who know your character and can attest to your character. So after you have all of your documents ready, you set up a time to meet with a detective or police officer in your local county or PD. Um, for me, it cost $135 um, to set up this time for the investigation or meeting with the individual. I went in there, I sat for probably 15 minutes, an individual came in, it was a detective or one of their uh, local police officers. He asked me like three questions, very basic, do you do drugs, things of that sort. Said I was all good to go, he signed off on it, handed it to the secretary, and then we started the next process. The next process while you're in there in the county sheriff's office, you get fingerprinted, they take a photo, and they take your package, 
and then they kindly let you know that it's going to take up to 90 days to process your application. And when they say it's going to take up to 90 days, really what they mean is it's going to take at least 90 days, probably more. And in my experience, it took more than 90 days. So after you wait your 90 days, you'll get a letter in the mail saying you've been cleared to come into the county sheriff and show them the letter. I showed them the letter, they issued my permit, and the permit had the list of firearms that I'm allowed to carry. Um, another caveat with the California permits is, at least in my county, I believe it's only good for about a year and then I have to renew it after that year. And for the renewal process, again, I have to pay a fee with the training center. You have to qualify with your firearms again. You have to receive another certificate, they sign it, and then you have to uh, put an application for the, your renewal of your CCW in with the county sheriffs. And then they you wait for a period, I think, and then they reissue your permit and it's renewed for another year. And you can just go through this process over and over and over. So as you can see, the California process is not easy, it takes a long time, and uh, it costs a lot. I think that's a big barrier to entry is that it costs a lot of people a lot of money. I think it cost me up to $400 when all said was done uh, to get my permit. So let's compare this process to the Pennsylvania process. The first thing I did when I got to Pennsylvania for law school is I applied for my concealed weapons permit. Um, I lived in California my whole life. Um, when I became the right age where I could apply for my California permit, I couldn't afford it. As you can assume, it's not very cheap. It cost me $400, but it cost me $400 when I was a young kid, and I just couldn't swing that. So when I got to Pennsylvania, I was chomping at the bit to get my concealed weapons permit. And that's what I did. I called into my uh, local county. Um, they told me to come in from this time frame to this time frame and uh, put in my application. When I got down there, uh, they handed me a one-page application filled it out, handed it to the nice lady uh, up at the front desk. Uh, she double checked it, made sure I didn't have any mistakes. Uh, she fingerprinted me. I think they charged me $25 for the background check. I waited about 10 minutes for the background check to clear. She said I was all good. She printed out my permit. I signed it. Uh, also, I took a photo through this whole process because that's on your permit. She printed that out, I signed it, she handed it to me, and uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, it. Took I think when all was said and done, it took me about 40 minutes to get my permit in Pennsylvania. If I had to choose between the California process and the Pennsylvania process, I'm choosing the Pennsylvania one all day. Um, it took me maybe four months through the California process, it took me in total maybe 40 minutes for the Pennsylvania process. It cost me $20 for the Pennsylvania process, it cost me 400 for the California process and um, I had to sit through an eight hour course with California and didn't have to do any of that with Pennsylvania. And uh, the permit for Pennsylvania lasted me I think five years. I didn't have to renew it at all during the time period that I was in Pennsylvania. Um, law school was only about three years. So I was in and out and I was good with just one permit. And I think even the renewal for the permit there was another $20 and I think they just re-ran your background check. Uh, to make sure you hadn't had any uh, criminal issues during that time period that you had your initial permit. But that was it. So that's it for today, guys. You know, the difference between getting your concealed carry permit in Pennsylvania versus California. Um, I'm going to have a lot more discussions on these type of, th type of things. Um, my different experiences, not only um, carrying in Pennsylvania versus carrying in California, uh, the different city cultures in Pennsylvania versus California. But also, I'm going to be covering a lot of different things, you know, EDC, firearms, gear, um, laws. I am a licensed attorney. Um, a lot of stuff happens in California that we have to deal with. And so I'll be covering some of these, you know, various statutes, regulations, and, you know, a bunch of nonsense that pops up all the time in California, but also federally. I'll be covering that, and you'll get a little insight of how an attorney sees these type of things, especially an attorney who's on the front lines of, trying to protect our rights in California. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, hope you have a good day, and I'll catch you later.